Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the biggest game of the year. As you can see, it is Steelers Buccaneers for the Super Bowl. Uh, Pittsburgh gets the distinct advantage of being the home team for this game. So we will go forward with that. Tampa on the road. Steelers making their ninth appearance in the Super Bowl with this appearance. Six-time winners already. Tampa making their second appearance. One-time winner. They won back in 2002. The Steelers last won back in 2008 in Tampa's home stadium. So we're going to head out to Arizona. Uh, we're going to have a little fiesta in what is normally the uh, PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. And we'll get moving forward. I can't wait for this game to get underway. Opening kickoff is right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen, of Super Bowl 49. Hope you guys enjoy. everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. So now let's go to Glendale, Arizona, where Jim and Phil have the call. Buccaneers, Steelers, Coming up from the home of Super Bowl 49, the University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale, Arizona. Bill, you get to the Super Bowl. You have that extra week off, and then you have all the scrutiny. All the insane amount of publicity has got to be draining before the big game. No, look, Jim, you know better than that. You and I laugh about it all the time. These players love it. You can't talk about them enough. What do you think about me? Tell me more. We love it. So they can't wait to get a chance to go out there and play today and see who's the best. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here in Arizona getting set for Super Bowl 49. The last time the Super Bowl was here was a wild one with the Giants beating the undefeated at the time, New England Patriots. Maybe we've got another good one like that in store today. I think we have a wild one in store again today. Both coaches are willing to take chances. They are daring. Sit in your seats for the kickoff. Now we go down to field level as Danielle Bellini has more on today's matchup. Thanks, Jim. This Super Bowl can be a very distracting time for players and coaches. So I asked both teams, how have you been dealing with all of the distractions during this run up to Super Bowl 40? While they all admitted, yes, it's easy to get caught up in the media attention, they tell me they've been 100% focused on this game tonight. And guys, they all know what a special night this is, and they want to make the most of it by coming out with a win. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. The Steelers are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Matt Prater looks out to kick it away. Reading for the snap. Hurry up, let's go! Hurry up, let's go! Simpson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Keeps it here. One for the home run. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches.
after the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Here's the handoff, trying to plow ahead. He's tackled right at the 31. For the defense, the first pick in the draft in 2006, defensive lineman Mario Williams. Yeah, Mario Williams had a nice 2013 season, came on, got a lot of sacks, and you can build your defense around him because he knows how to get to the quarterback. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. Offense lines up here. Roethlisberger from the gun on the money. It's got some daylight. He's right at the 24. When you throw this pass as a quarterback, you've got to stick it right onto the body of the wide receiver. They are nervous. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Brought down at the 20. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. Bennett's tackled, but a new set of downs. Anytime you have man-to-man -man coverage like we see, it's all about the receiver getting away from the receiver. He does it, and the quarterback puts it right on. He'll go to the left for a gain of about five. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game, but I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. They feed it to him one more time. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Goal line defense on the field. Third and goal at the three. The open touchdown of the Super like no other game out there. It's so big. The tension is so much more than the other playoff games. And when you score first, that is a big, big deal. More than anything, it's a great relief to get that out of the way. Roethlisberger is going to look on now from the sidelines. That last he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. Washington's going to test the coverage this time. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tapped 20. At quarter, out of the U, a former second round and Rose Bowler, Andy Dalton. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Moreno lined up in the backfield. From the gun, Dalton. Brent Selleck makes the catch. As we take a look at the lineups, Alshon Jeffrey, his one player will be watching today on the outside. Alshon Jeffrey, he's tall, he has long arms, so if the quarterback just gets it anywhere near him, this guy is capable of making the catch. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Dalton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's got the catch. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Quarters formation here for the defense. They'll run it off the toss. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Offense lines up here. The Buccaneers from the 37. And Fitzgerald's got it. First down. 
He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. When you played in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 21 MVP, it was gigantic there in Pasadena. Is it bigger now today? Yeah, the game is just much bigger now, Jim, because more people are watching it. The press that covers it, TV, it's around the clock analyzation of, of the game, and it's all about winning. You must win the Super Bowl to get credibility from the fans and the media. Uh, it's not fair, but that's just the way it is. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw at that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. Third down and two. Outside now on the toss. Fights through contact. Gains 14. Well, everybody talks about the pass in the NFL. When it's third and short, you got to man up and be tough and strong. Nice job that time by the offensive line. They let the running back get in there and pick up the first down. First down at the 34. Nate Washington with the grab. Taken down at the 27. Anytime you get over four yards on first down, it doesn't matter what the play is. Is it a run or a pass? That time, nice throw by the QB. Now they're in great position. Second down and short. Offense lines up here. The Buccaneers from the 27. Moreno on the screen. Still powering ahead. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. First and goal from the nine. Moreno's taking the handoff. This is a nice drive by the offense, Jim. They're down. They're driving down the field. Let's see if they can put seven points on the board. This long drive continues. Second and goal from the eight. in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. This will be interesting to see how the defense plays this situation. They're up a touchdown. Will they be aggressive or play it safe? I know one thing. If they give up three points, they'll be very happy. Third and goal from the nine and off the mark on that short throw. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time and he knocked the pass down. Chip shot here. The kick is good. Yeah, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending, they did not break, and all they did was give up a field goal. down at the 23. It's first down as they head to the line. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it, but what a job and effort. After that last carry, it's third and three. The first quarter is behind us. And we'll step aside as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And Cromarty can't quite hold on to the interception. The defense did an awesome job that time. They had the right defense called. And that time the defender almost picked off the pass. Good job by the defense.
He's going to try and return this one. Good piece of tackling. The Buccaneers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. The Buccaneers have it at the 29. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Offense lines up here. Second down and eight. Complete to Jeffrey. And he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Third down and one. Moreno takes it on the toss. Breaks free. Gets about nine on the play. Well, one of the hardest things to do, and I think, in the NFL now is third shortest run to football and pick up yards. That time, nice job by the offensive line. They showed their power, and they picked up the first down. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down, three to go. The give. Panties, the one who brings him to the ground. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running. Andy Dalton will be under center. The Buccaneers take it from the 43. The defense gets the sack. the offense that time there's no doubt about it the blitz by the defense they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from they let a guy come free and that free blitzer or as we call them free runners he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down are set for their next possession. It's a two tight end formation. Now first and ten. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And Williams is going to make the tackle. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment. And he did it well. Takes on the tackle. Beats his rear end up pretty good. It makes a tackle on the running back. Second and nine. Finds his mark. Of 10. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Gets the handle here. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Steelers' offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Here's another handoff. They'll mark him at the 41. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Right there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Hard to play man-to-man -man against such a quality receiver. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. They'll run it here. Tackle just three yards short of the first. When you're an offensive lineman, you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Looking at third down. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. He's going to get another carry. And that's a gain of nine. 
and we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun, and he's taken down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Pass it. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. Inside of the upright. And the kicker's ready to go. And Washington's going to test the coverage here. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Buccaneers come onto the field now for this next series. Browns a receiver in the slot. First down at the 18. Screen has his target. Moreno tackled down. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Dalton will take it from the gun. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. Well, you can't play man-to-man, -man, Jim, every single play. Every once in a while, you got to throw in the zone. That's what they did this pass play. Hey, it was a good idea. It just didn't work. First down at the 44. Set up screen. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Buccaneers call the timeout. They're first. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Wide receivers are bunched up. Setting up screen. Got the completion. Rock for a loss on that play. The Buccaneers are going to call a timeout. Want to talk about this third down. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. And Washington's in the slot. Dalton from the shotgun. Complete to Jeffrey. Shazier's there to make the stop. Wasting little time. Dalton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Makes the reception. Gains maybe five. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. That leads us to second down. And Washington's lined up in the slot. Dalton's going to take it from the gun. Looking to go down the field here. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. What a good job by the wide receiver. Just going up and attacking the football. And you know why they can attack those footballs? Because they know they can't be hit. They're defenseless, so they get a free chance. The Buccaneers now will tack on the extra point. Extra point was good. The Steelers kickoff return team is on the field. After seeing their defense surrender some points, the score's 14 to 10. The Steelers set to return the kick. Pick up the loose ball, and here they go. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. 
the kick is good. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. They face first down. And that's the end of the first half here in Sun City, USA. Back to the Phoenix area for the third quarter after a short break. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. All you want at the Super Bowl is a highly competitive game, and that's what we have. Both teams have to feel like they're in good shape and that should lead to a wild finish down the stretch. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Steelers have it on second and five. Roethlisberger's got the completion out of the gun, and he ends up at the 24-yard line before he stopped on the play. Steelers later on the drive, he'll take the run up the middle, and he cap off the long drive with a touchdown. Steelers is up now by seven. Steelers have it at the 19, right to the target here, and he's gonna go 19 yards for the score. Steelers push their lead to 11. Bucks with the ball, final seconds of the half. The deep ball is on target here, and that goes as a 42-yard touchdown. Buccaneers cutting the deficit to four. So that will bring our halftime report to a close. Let's go back now to Jim and Phil at the Super Bowl. He'll take it from the one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Buccaneers now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Offense lines up here. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Slashing to the right side. That's a gain of seven. Second and three after that last carry. Play action fake, looking to throw. And it's out of bounds, incomplete. Third down on the way. Andy Dalton will be under center. And the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. The Buccaneers expect to be able to pass the football, but now in consecutive games, that's not been the case. Dalton's very talented, but he's going through a tough stretch now. He is, and listen, you know what? We expect so much from him. You know, we think every single week is going to be another great day. That's not how it goes in the NFL. But, Jim, we both know he's still one of the best. Buccaneers did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Offense lines up here. They're going to get him here for a sack. That time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just they just collapsed. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Pulls it in. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there. It's in the second half, and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you can just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation. And he's thrown to the ground. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. back 
here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Steelers come on to the field for their next series. First and 10. Takes it from the eye. Gets about four yards that time. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Play clock's running down. Roethlisberger with the give. Taken down a yard short of the first. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Offense lines up here. The Steelers have it at the 29. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances. Go on the offensive on the defensive side and just make things happen. Trying to beat the play clock. Gets it out for the completion. And that's good for only a yard or two. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and eight. Two cannons there that time for the tackle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Offense lines up here. They'll go shotgun here. Catch made. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Steelers offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. Pass is intercepted. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. Nice job for the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First and ten. The defense gets a sack. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do, and he goes down for the sack. And Washington's lined up now as a slot receiver. Picks up eight here. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. And Washington's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and nine. third down conversion the offense continues to come through in the clutch the Buccaneers look pretty confident out there on the field don't they and they're, they're very calm and they should be that first down they're right in this game down a couple points here in the second half don't look down the field for that big play just keep marching the pass fails to find the mark second down here He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Moreno's got it on the handoff. Brought down after a gain of six. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Third down and four. Throws to the right. Brings it in. Picks up about five. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Got the completion. Hastens in on the tackle. The Steelers all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. 
Second down and seven. Makes the catch. And Jeffrey is stopped there. Nice roll that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you're going to really drive the football in there. First and goal from the eight. The give. Out of the eye. Over the line. Touchdown. Oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first and goal. and you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. Roethlisberger from the gun. And he's forced to the ground. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Third down now. Nickel formation for the defense here. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun, and he's intercepted. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. First down and 10. They'll go ground. Tackle at the 29-yard line. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for no gain. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second down and 10. They're setting up screen. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Complete to Jeffrey. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Buccaneers have their defense to thank for those points. That interception setting up the score that the offense was able to finish off. Getting set now for the next series. Wide receivers are bunched up. Now first and ten. Screen. He's got the catch. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Second down coming up. The Buccaneers are running the football with tremendous ease. And this is something we have not seen from their rushing attack this season. No, we have not. Listen, we all know to run the football consistently in the NFL, that is something that's very hard to do. But they have been working extremely hard on it, and they've got it going to them. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Roethlisberger's on the move. Ball's loose. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Roethlisberger, play action. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did everything right that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Second and goal from the seven. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That's a gain of only a yard. 
the Buccaneers lead right now. But, of course, a big reason why is that defense has shown up to play. Jim, to win in the NFL, you have to do all three phases of the game the right way. Offense, special teams, and that defense must show up every single week. Good job so far here today. The offense is still on the field here on fourth down, needing six for the first. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. Scrambling now. Touchdown. This game is tight. The head coach, the side team wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. The Steelers will take their spot on the bench after contributing to the cause, especially via the passing game, over 60 yards by the air. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Buccaneers' offense now coming out. Split backfield here. First down at the 18. Moreno's handed the football. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down and eight. Moreno on the screen. Brought down at the 26. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Play action, and he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. Well, I don't know who to blame here or give credit to. Blame the quarterback for not changing the protection or just give a lot of credit Well, that's where I'm going. What a job by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they get to the QB with the blitz and take him down. Going to try his luck here. And Jennings there to make the tackle. First down here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's tackled some three yards away from a first down. The Steelers take it from the 43. Running away from the pressure. Roethlisberger going down the field. Bennett's marked down at the 19. Looking at this comparison, Phil, it's fun to see these two quarterbacks going head-to-head -head in a tightly contested game. Yeah, so well played on the offensive side by both teams. The quarterbacks, they've been very sharp. They're on target with the football, and their offensive lines are playing very well. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. Just look at what the quarterback has done in this game, but it's not enough at this point to be leading in this game, Phil. Yeah, he's going to look at this stat line and say, hey, he had an outstanding game, but they got to find a way to win. It just tells you it's not all about the quarterback. The team has to all play together. Second down after the incompletion. These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Makes the catch. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. He'll take it from the one. And he's met head on right there at the 20. First down on the way.
leading and with possession of the football a good place to be at this point in the game Moreno has it out of the eye timeout called by the defensive unit second down following the run the defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one Nate Washington hauls it in Sometimes the defense can be all over the receiver. It doesn't matter. You cannot stop a great catch. On the way, third down. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. It's third down coming up. Offense lines up here. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. The punter awaits the snap. We'll see what he can do here. He stacked up at that point. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The defense comes out in the nickel. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. The Steelers just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Second and goal from the two-yard line. The tackle was made. The Buccaneers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The Steelers come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Third and goal to go from the two. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Takes off with it. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. Two, two, two. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. The 20 and brought down at the 23. The Buccaneers come to the line. Fourth quarter with two timeouts remaining. Wide receivers are bunched up. From the gun, Dalton. Fitzgerald is there with his sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. The Buccaneers still trail in the second half, but their passing game has been quite good throughout. Dalton's led his team on the field today and has posted some very impressive numbers. Yeah, the offense has been sharp, and I'll say this, in the NFL, if you're trying to make a comeback, the easiest way to do it is to do it with a hot quarterback, and all is out recovery by the offense. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 45. Again, he's been on the fire all game. The Buccaneers use another timeout here, and they have one left. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and 11. Looking long. Interception. In on the stop. 
Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance we're, to make the play. We're getting number seven. We're getting number seven. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the nail biters, the ones that come down to the final game, the final minutes. But. Wow. We're going to take the Super Bowl. First down here. Just two knees is all we need. And Pittsburgh's a seven time Super Bowl champion. Seven times. This team is beyond fantastic. I, I love it. I'm so happy to get to play as this team, and uh, congratulations to my bud, Matthew Hibbs, who is now, at least on Madden 15, on this on this uh, fantasy draft career mode, whatever you want to call it, fantasy series. He is now the youngest head coach to win a Super Bowl. He's in his 20s. Welcome. You were the first to ever say, after a Super Bowl victory, I'm going to Disneyland. Now, what about these players on the field here today? I know you'll find this amazing. I did it without cue cards. I memorized that, and it was awesome. It was a great feeling. and all the crew. I'm Jim Nance. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up show, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports. I'm going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for season one. Uh, what a fantastic season it has been. I've enjoyed every game so far. I can't wait to get through the offseason and get through the preseason and get into season two and uh, unveil the teams that have moved, the teams that maybe might be moving. Uh, we'll see where things go in that regards, but definitely unveil the teams that moved, including my Ravens that I'm playing. I've been playing with. Uh, like I've said, this is my bud's team, his team that uh, he drafted, he controls essentially. Just like the Dolphins are my other buddy's team. They they control the teams, but uh, I'm in charge of the Ravens. Super Bowl 49 goes to the Pittsburgh Stillers. Seven time Super Bowl champion. <laughs> Seven time Super Bowl champion. God, I want to say that this year. Oh, how I'd love to get to say that this year. I think we got a chance at it. Uh, it's definitely possible. I'm just thrilled with this. It's a Super Bowl, guys. It's. 
<laughs> and, and of course, <laughs> he gets his contract extended. Oh, that is great. That is great. Guys, I'm going to advance into the offseason. I'm going to force advance it. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey through season one. We'll be back for season two. I can promise you that. It's going to be just as fun. And I can't wait for opening day. We're going to do two games on opening weekend. Uh, it's going to become a theme. We're going to do the defending Super Bowl winner and a team of my choice. More than likely somebody that's just moved. So we'll see where we're at. Uh, I have things that I'm going to do through the offseason, re-sign players, obviously. Uh, all these different things that have to be done going through the offseason, making sure that all these teams remain in tip-top shape. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for this wonderful first season. I can't, Like I said, I cannot wait for season two, and I will see you on week one when the Steelers open the season in Pittsburgh as the defending Super Bowl champions. I can promise you that will be the first game. Thank you once again, and good night.